Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem is uh, determining the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at the pin A and uh, the reaction on the beam at C. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. So we have a beam there, the A, B, C and a uh, two force member D, C or C, D. So CD is a two force member. So what is a two force member? A two force member is a member that has only two forces at two locations, no moments, no moments. It has only two forces at two locations and the forces are equal in magnitudes at the two locations they are also opposite in direction and they are collinear they are collinear great so this in fact makes the problem much easier because we are just going to have one reaction force at d so let's draw that so assuming this member is in compression and is supposed to be in compression we expect uh, a reaction force like so at that point let me just see, do like so. We expect a reaction force like so there. We'll call this reaction force as DC. Okay. We know that the reaction force at D is going to be equal to the reaction force at C, which is going to be equal to the, re the reaction force of DC or CD. Um, when we look at the, uh, the, the slope, uh, AD is equal to 1.5 and AC is equal to 1.5. Therefore, this angle here is just a 45, right? You agree? Mm -hmm. So if this is the case, we expect this angle here also to just be equal to 45, right? To 45, great. Let me just use another color. So this is going to be 45. All right, this is 45. This is a 45. Great. So if that is the case, then let's work out the support reactions. I mean the components. The components of this force. Let me use blue. So we are going to have, we'll have one component like so there. And this component is DC. Uh, cos 45 and then we'll have another component in this direction this one is DC sine 45 right and then at the hinge A we'll have two reaction forces here we'll have AY we'll have also uh, AX great so with this information, we can take moments about point A and find DC, later on summation of forces in the Y and X, and then find uh, AX and AY. So let's start doing the work. So we'll say summation of moments about point A equal to zero, and clockwise being our reference. What do we have? Um, we have of course, DC equals 45 and AY will not have any moment about point A because their lever arms are equal to zero. So we have a negative moment due to four, so that's four by uh, three. And then we have plus DC sine 45 times the lever arm, which is 1.5 equal to zero. DC, therefore, is just going to be equal to, we have a minus 4 by 3, then divided by 1.5 sine 45. So we have 11.3137 kilo newtons. Then we have summation of forces in the y equal to 0 going up in our reference. 
what do we have? We have ay uh, minus 4 plus dc cos 45 equal to 0. We found dc already, so we can fit that in our equation. And once we do so, we find our ay, which is just equal to um, at 11.3137 cos 45 minus 4. So you find that our ay is just equal to, that's one minute, minus 4 plus 11.3137 cos 45. So this gives us ay equal to, sorry, minus 4 plus 11.313737 cos 45. So we have ay equal to minus, uh, minus 3.99, which is just a 4 kilo newtons. And then finally, we have summation of forces in the x direction, like so. What do we have? We have uh, ax plus dc sine 45 equal to 0. We've already found what dc is. dc is equal to 11.3137. ax therefore is just going to be equal to minus 11.3137 sine 45. So this gives us Ax is equal to 8 kilo newtons. Right. So let's redraw this and uh, indicate some of uh, those values. Need to redraw it since we are told to show the components at C. Um, right. So let's say this is the beam there. And then this is the other component down there like this. Okay, this is good enough, right? Yeah, this is good enough. And then let me indicate. Uh, I redraw this like so. All right. And then I also indicate like so here. Okay, and also indicate here like this. Right. So, here we go. We have, we just said, let's, let's rewrite this. Ax, we said the direction will change. It will be facing this side. And this is equal to, what is Ax equal to? It's equal to 8 as kilo newtons. Uh, Ay also, the direction will be facing downwards like so. And this is going to be equal to, Ay is just equal to a 4 kilo newtons. This one is equal to DC, which is just 11.3137 cos 45. This is equal to 8 kilo newtons, and so is this one here. Uh, this one, let's move it here, we bring it where there is space. We say here, we say DC sine 45. This is also equal to 8 kilo newtons. And this one here is just equal to 11.31. Uh, Space is not so much enough. We can move it a little bit behind. We say from there to there. And then this is equal to 11 point, uh, just 31 kilo newtons. So is this one here is 11.31 kilo newtons. Great. So this is our A. This is our B. This is our C. 
and this is 1.5 meters 1.5 meters 1.5 meters and 1.5 meters so here we have a component in this direction which is 8 we have another one down there which is 4 and then we have here the applied force which is also a 4 and then we have here compression force and also this side since this is a two force member this is 11.31 and this is also 11.31 and then we have here the same component which is just 11.31 and it will have components this is 11.31 so it will have components so one component in the vertical direction will be equal to we say this one will be equal to this one will be equal to uh, in the vertical direction this one is going to be equal to 8 and we'll have another one in the horizontal direction which will also be equal to 8 right so this point here this is G and this is C right so drawn this let's just outline now the final solutions we have AX like so AX uh, we have AY like so all right and then we have DC like so great this is really about it and I hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and uh, see you in my next uh, screencast